Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is TP once again. <laughs> Make sure you like this video, share it on all social media platforms, and subscribe as well. Um, if you missed this epic interview between uh, Ngozi Alaibu and the former military president, uh, His Excellency Ibrahim Badamosi Babagida, here is once again for you to listen to him. Um, he's, he, 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 listening to him towards the end, you may not have watched it. You may not have watched this interview to the end, but towards the end, there was, he, he, he elaborated more. He said he has like three people, three persons that he considers to be eligible for the next uh, presidency. And they are in their sisters. He believes that Nigerians are resilient, hard-working people. He believes that the next leader should be somebody who has traveled all over and has friends everywhere. Somebody who can speak to Nigerians. Mark that word. Somebody who can speak to Nigerians. Understand Nigerians. And be able to come to compromise with Nigerians. I think he makes sense there. Yes, it makes sense. Somebody who has traveled all over, who has friends everywhere. It doesn't matter where he comes from. But he said he has like three people in his mind. These people are well known. They could make good leaders. Yes, he's an elder statesman. He, 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 we believe in him. We believe he is one of the kingmakers. Yes, he is one of the makers of the leadership in Nigeria. He can uh, correct the leaders. He can correct the, 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 the problem that we are facing right now through the leaders. So, like he said, he has three leaders. It, it's better Nigerians come together right now and meet him. The leaders should come together. The leaders, the political leaders now should come together, meet him to point out these three people so that we can assess them and know if they can lead us. I believe in him. Now listen to this. Listen to that interview. Thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button and share. Thank you very much. I remain TP. Bye-bye. If we are going to do it the way it is done all over the world, you allow the process to continue, but it is through the process that you will be able to come up with a candidate that will lead the country. His qualifications, his beliefs should be known to Nigerians before somebody ever throws his hat into the into the ring. Into the ring. Regardless of where he comes from, are you saying? Regardless that, you of saying, where he comes are from, are you saying that Nigeria at this time should jettison the idea of zoning or power shift? And all of that? Whether we do it now or we don't, we will have to do it. Time will come when somebody will emerge in this country. He is from Ukwila or from Mina. The thing is, he is known. Everybody knows him. Everybody tends to accept what he believes. Uh, and then if he throws his hat in, say, so yes, I had that name up before. Why not? I, I have started visualizing a good Nigerian leader. Who is that? A person who travels in this country and be, has a friend virtually everywhere he travels. He knows at least one person that he can communicate with. A person who is very vast in economic uh, because of the development and then a good politician who should be able to talk to the Nigerians and so on. I have seen one or two or three already. Young, middle-aged, elderly? 60s. In their 60s? Yeah. You think that person should emerge in 2023? I believe so if we could get him. 